BTS secretly sell their belongings. Hybes fight with local South Korean governments. BTS surpassed for the first time. RM's strange cleaning method. Jin introduces his non-celebrity friends for the first time, and more BTS news. Big hit music? The management company for the internationally acclaimed K-pop group BTS recently made a significant announcement regarding BTS. On Weverse, the agency extended its appreciation to the devoted fans of BTS for their constant love and support, and offered an update on the military service of these members. The company released a statement saying, Hello, this is Big Hit Music. Thank you always for your heartfelt love and support for BTS, thanks to your kind consideration and support. This past December, BTS members RM, Jimin, V, and Jungkook have entered the military and will soon be performing their duties at the training camp. Thank you for your interest and support on their enlistment day. Furthermore, Big Hit Music advised fans to avoid sending letters and gifts to the military barracks, citing the logistical issues caused by the accumulation of such items in shared training areas. The company elaborated, below is additional information for fans to keep note of throughout the artist's service period. The military barracks are communal spaces shared by military personnel for training together. If a large number of letters and gifts from the fans arrive at the center all at once, it would be difficult to store them and they could be easily lost. Instead, the agency promised to ensure the artists received the supportive messages left by fans on Weverse using specific hashtags. Therefore, we request that fans kindly refrain from sending anything by mail. Instead, Big Hit Music will assist in making sure the artists are able to personally see any heartwarming messages fans leave on Weavers continued the statement. Regarding the upcoming recruit training graduation ceremony, Big Hit Music sought the fans' understanding to avoid visiting the site to prevent overcrowding and related issues. They encouraged fans to hold their supportive messages and goodbyes in their hearts. We would also like to ask for your cooperation during the recruit training graduation ceremony. In order to prevent any issues that might occur from crowding, we ask fans to please refrain from visiting the site. Instead, we ask you to keep your heartwarming words of support and farewell in your hearts, the agency stated. In conclusion, Big Hit Music expressed its gratitude for the unending love and support for BTS during their military service and committed to providing unwavering support during this period. The company thanked the fans for their understanding and cooperation. In a recent episode of the show, Suchwita, BTS's Suga and CM Blue's Yongwa, a well-known figure in the idol industry, shared an interesting tidbit that has sparked a buzz among armies. The episode, which aired on January 15th, showcased the camaraderie between the two stars. They discussed various topics, including their group activities and personal endeavors. Yonghua mentioned their last encounter before the release of Suga's album, D-Day, and his preparations for a band tour. However, the conversation took an amusing turn when Yonghua brought up wearing a leopard print bucket hat. This reference led to a surprising revelation from Suga, who humorously admitted that he had misplaced the hat. This leopard print bucket hat is not just any accessory, it's a piece closely associated with Suga, almost becoming a part of his signature style. The revelation about its loss led to a mix of reactions among fans. Some couldn't believe that this iconic hat was a topic of discussion in the show, while others, driven by their admiration for Suga, expressed a desire to embark on a quest to locate this symbolic accessory. Suga's casual mention of not having the hat at home was met with lighthearted jesting from Yonghua, who teased that it was Suga's trademark. The fact that this conversation about a missing hat came up, especially after a significant time, and initiated by a senior idol like Yonghua, has amused the armies, adding a lighthearted and relatable aspect to the celebrities' lives. The incident underscores the playful and endearing interactions that fans cherish in the world of K-pop. Several tourist hotspots that gained popularity due to BTS are facing a decline in visitor numbers as the group's management company, HYBE, has made an official request prohibiting the installation of artist-related works in these areas without prior authorization. One such instance is the imminent demolition of a BTS-themed structure located in a photo zone near Mangbang Beach in Gangwon. This location gained fame as the backdrop for BTS's photo shoot for their hit album, Butter, 2021. In November, HYBE sent an official document to the city, stressing the importance of obtaining permission before using the copyrighted work of its artists. The document highlighted that the concept images of the artist's album displayed on the information board and installations on the beach are copyrighted by the agency. 
unauthorized use of these works constitutes a violation of the Copyright Act. In response to BTS's popularity, the Samchok city government had recreated the exact scene from the album's photo shoot in July 2021, complete with parasols, sunbeds, and a BTS installation. This installation led to a significant increase in tourists, including BTS's fan base. The Korea Tour Organization reported that the beach rose from the 14th most visited spot in Gangwon in 2020 to the 6th in 2021, based on navigation records and card company data. In 2022, it became the third most visited location in Gangwon. Despite efforts from the city government to negotiate with HYBE since the end of last year to maintain the photo spot, they were ultimately unable to persuade the agency. A city official expressed disappointment, acknowledging that the company was resolute in its decision. In a similar scenario, the city of Gangneung installed a bus stop near Juminjin Beach, where BTS shot the cover for their 2017 album, You Never Walk Alone. This installation occurred in June 2018, after HYBE removed the original bus stop used in the album shoot. So far, HYBE has not requested its removal. Gangneung city officials believe that this bus stop does not infringe upon copyright laws, as it doesn't feature any copyrighted works of the band, unlike the installation in Sam Shock. An official mentioned it that, if Hybe raises concerns, they would attempt to negotiate to keep the installation. Additionally, a photo zone of BTS on Oryuk Island in Nam District, Busan, was removed in 2022, only two months after its creation, following a request from Hybe. The zone was established after a video clip of BTS member Jimin, who hails from Busan, visiting the island was released. A local government official expressed regret over the demolition of the BTS structure, noting its significant contribution to boosting tourism in the region. They wished for more flexibility from the agency in allowing local authorities to utilize their works for tourism enhancement. BTS's Suga has been featured prominently in the latest Narratives campaign by the esteemed Italian fashion house Valentino. As a newly announced brand ambassador for Valentino in 2023, Suga showcased his high fashion credentials through a series of images and a video released on the morning of January 12th. The campaign, which emphasizes a blend of authenticity and the distinctive style of Valentino, was introduced on Instagram. The description of the post highlighted Suga as the face of the Valentino Narratives campaign and invited viewers to explore the story and shop the looks, which are available online and in boutiques. In the campaign video, Suga is seen seated at a press conference donning black shorts, an oversized white shirt with black details and dark sunglasses. The video then transitions to show him relaxing in the back of a car, wearing an all-white oversized suit adorned with a white embroidered flower on the lapel. This is interspersed with more footage from the press conference and scenes of him signing autographs while sporting a tan jacket, a lime green shirt, and a string of pearls. The campaign's paparazzi-style visual is complemented by an ominous instrumental keyboard track. Another post features Suga sitting on a director's chair in a fashion studio, wearing a green jacket and matching shirt, a black tie and black one stud XL sneakers with black socks. Additional images can be found on Instagram using the Valentino Narratives hashtag. In September 2023, Suga commenced his mandatory 18-month military service, joining other BTS members in this national obligation. He shared a heartfelt note with ARMY on Weverse, expressing gratitude for their support and promising to return after completing his duty. He also advised fans to take care of themselves during the chilly autumn season and promised to reunite with them in 2025. By the end of 2023, all seven BTS members had started their military service, which has temporarily paused their group activities. Big Hit announced in October 2022 that the group would be unable to perform together until their military commitments are fulfilled next year. In a recent segment on KBS Cool FM's Park Myung Soo's radio show, the topic of secondhand trading among celebrities was discussed. This segment was prompted by a listener's story about their experience with secondhand trading, mentioning that they encountered both extremely kind and rather discourteous traders. Park Myung Soo, the host of the show, shared his own insights on the subject. He revealed that celebrities, including BTS and himself, often participate in secondhand trading. The rationale behind this, as explained by Park, is the desire to avoid wastefulness by disposing of items. Instead, they prefer to pass these items on to someone who might need them, often bartering them at a reasonable price. Park Myung-soo expressed his view that this practice is not negative in any way. 
delving deeper into his personal experiences with secondhand trading, Park Myung Soo mentioned that he takes certain precautions when going out for these trades. He usually covers his face with a mask and a hat to maintain some degree of anonymity. He even revealed that the clothes he was wearing at the time of the broadcast were obtained through secondhand trading. However, he clarified that most of his trades are conducted through delivery services rather than in-person exchanges. On January 13th, the Korea Brand Reputation Research Institute unveiled the results of their monthly analysis concerning the brand reputation rankings of K-pop boy groups. This list, known for its fluctuating rankings each month, has seen BTS hold the top position consistently for 67 months, equating to over five and a half years. January 2024 marked a notable shift in these rankings, as it was the first time a group other than BTS secured the number one spot since BTS began their long-standing dominance. Seventeen, having shown a remarkable increase in popularity and album sales, emerged as the new leader in the K-pop boy group brand reputation ranking. In another surprising turn, NCT claimed the second spot, pushing BTS to the third position for the month. This change in the rankings could be attributed to the fact that all members of BTS are currently serving in the military, which understandably might affect their brand reputation. Their brand points have seen a decline of approximately 47% since December. However, as BTS members begin to complete their military service later in the year, an increase in their brand reputation is anticipated. In recent times, there has been considerable debate around the definition of K-pop, particularly in light of Korean idol groups releasing English songs to appeal to a global audience and the emergence of multinational groups like Black Swan, whose K-pop status has been questioned despite primarily producing music in Korean. The topic is highly subjective, drawing varied opinions from different quarters. BTS, often regarded as the epitome of K-pop, shared their perspective on this matter in a recent interview. During the interview, BTS was questioned about their understanding of K-pop. RM, the group's leader, acknowledged that this is a common question he encounters, even internationally, and noted that his response has evolved over time. RM recalled that during their first appearance at the Billboard Music Awards in 2017, he would describe K-pop as a unique blend of elements such as music videos, sound, choreography, visuals, and new media communication, viewing it as a comprehensive mix of these aspects. However, by 2021, when the interview was conducted, RM observed that these previously distinct characteristics of K-pop had become less clear-cut. He referred to groups with foreign members, stating that their creation of music within the K-pop genre classifies them as K-pop groups, regardless of the members' nationalities. RM also commented on BTS's own experiences, particularly with their English-language song, Dynamite. Despite being an all-Korean group, the song was entirely in English, yet it adhered to the K-pop format, including the music video, choreography, and other industry-specific content. RM concluded by suggesting that the scope of K-pop is continuously expanding, making it challenging to define it objectively. He pointed out that as the industry evolves rapidly, so do the meanings of the terms associated with it. Therefore, the definition of K-pop is likely to keep changing in the future. Jimin concluded the discussion with a straightforward yet profound viewpoint, encouraging people to appreciate what they find valuable without attempting to confine it within definitive labels. BTS's leader RM has been sharing glimpses of his home life with fans, revealing some intriguing aspects of his lifestyle. Over the past few years, armies have been treated to views of RM's living space through his Instagram posts, vlogs, and live streams, which often highlight its museum-like quality, adorned with a plethora of art pieces. However, a recent episode from the new BTS documentary, Beyond the Star, left fans bemused. In the documentary, RM was seen selecting an outfit from his closet, and a toaster-like object in the corner caught viewers' attention. It was later revealed to be a luxury watch holder. Another scene from the documentary has now captivated armies. This time, RM was shown cleaning his house, a task he admitted to finding challenging. This scene reminded many fans of the days when RM shared a dorm with the other BTS members and was often reprimanded for not cleaning up. The contrast between his past and present self-struck fans as amusing. However, what truly surprised some fans was RM's cleaning method, using a lint roller on his floors. Lint rollers are typically used for removing dust from clothing, upholstery, and linen, but using one to clean floors was unexpected for many armies. The reactions were mixed. Some fans considered it an extreme level of cleanliness, 
while others thought it a clever hack for those too lazy to use a vacuum cleaner. Others pointed out that this method is quite common in countries like South Korea, Japan, and China, even among professional housekeepers for effective cleaning. Regardless of the opinions on his cleaning techniques, RM's efforts to maintain his home, especially given his busy schedule as a celebrity, have certainly earned admiration from fans. Despite a humorous comment he once made in an interview about not having friends, which left BTS members surprised given their close relationship, Jin of BTS indeed has a circle of friends outside the group. This was showcased in the latest episode of the Disney Plus docuseries, BTS Monuments Beyond the Star, where viewers got a glimpse into Jin's life with his non-celebrity friends, whom he has known since before his debut with BTS. The episode featured a segment on Jin's camping trip with these friends. During the trip, Jin mentioned that he had burned himself and found it painful. His friends advised him to ice the injury, but Jin expressed his reluctance due to laziness. This led to a light-hearted exchange where one friend suggested he just endure the pain, reminiscent of a time Jin had torn a ligament. Jin then shared that he would not have sought appropriate medical attention for the ligament injury if not for his friend's insistence which led to his recovery. One friend humorously expressed concern about being blamed by Jin's parents for the injury, to which Jin responded that his mother actually likes his friend Gun Han. He revealed that his mother credits Gun Han for Jin's debut in BTS, humorously suggesting that if Jin had focused more on studies than spending time with Gun Han, he might not have joined BTS. Jin also spoke about the strength of his friendships in a one-on-one -on -one interview. He explained that despite their busy schedules, he and his friends make time for each other, sometimes meeting up to six times a week, or as little as once or twice when too busy. His friends even hang out at his home when he's working, welcoming him when he returns. Jin expressed gratitude for having such rare and trustworthy friends, noting that other celebrities have remarked on the uniqueness of such friendships. Jin has historically been one of the more private members of BTS, which made the revelation of his non-celebrity friend group in the docuseries a pleasant surprise for armies. He has previously opened up about his struggles to make and maintain friendships, particularly in the context of his life as a member of BTS. However, in the third episode of Break the Silence, Jin from BTS shared his thoughts on the dual aspects of his life, as Kim Sokjin, his offstage persona, and as Jin, the member of the globally renowned group BTS. He reflected on how these two facets of his life are intertwined, yet distinct in how he experiences them. Jin expressed that, in essence, he perceives both lives as the same. However, the way he lives them differs. He sees Jin of BTS as someone who always leads a cheerful life, a persona that is always in the spotlight and exuding positivity. On the personal side, as Kim Sook Jin, he feels that not much has changed for him and he is leading a happy life. Yet he acknowledges that life as Jin of BTS can be more challenging. He mentioned that with the fame and success come certain sacrifices, particularly in his social life. Jin admitted feeling the pressure of social interactions and noted that, while he himself hasn't changed, his friends find it difficult to be around him, leading to a sense of loss as some friendships have drifted apart. Despite the pain of losing friends, Jin chooses to focus on what he has gained, the love and support of the fans, ARMY. He attributes his current identity to the fans who have made his dreams a reality. Jin finds happiness in the joy he brings to his fans through his music and performances. This reciprocal relationship with the fans is what drives him to want to perform even more, finding contentment in the happiness he can provide to others. 